guys, welcome back again to our channel. My name is Coach MC. In today's video, we are going to talk about the top eight programs that I will be recommending for you for 2024. We've been doing this kind of video ever since when I started SLE. I had 2021, 2022, 2023, and now for this year, of course, we are going to have a new list. So this will be in accordance to the new in-demand occupation here in Canada. So let's get started. So let's start because I have a long list here with me. So let's start with teachers. So for teachers, I made a video about it here already. But I just want to remind you guys, if you're a teacher, you can go through an assessment here so that you can work here or practice here as an early childhood educator. If you wanted to study, then consider master's degree or take the behavioral autism. And this program, the behavioral autism, this program is being offered mostly in Ontario. So you can check Niagara College or St. Lawrence College. So the program will be around 18,000 Canadian dollars for one year. So if you're thinking to be a teacher here and you want to upgrade, consider that program. So now let's move on to our engineers and architects. So these people are more like on the technical side. So apart from project management, you can also consider taking the master's degree, but keep Keep in mind that it's really hard to get in here if you're taking the master's degree so if you are planning to apply at a master's degree level then apply as early as possible but you have other option here in post-grad level you can also check the project management if you're an architect check the BIM program if you wanted to pursue the trades industry then check heavy-duty mechanic welding or you can consider taking the power engineering you have other options apart from project management but it really depends on what you wanted to pursue here in Canada but I will recommend if you want to work with your hands and still want to make so much money in Canada and it will be easier for you to get your permanent residency consider the trades because you have your bachelor's in engineering already which you can actually get an assessment with so here in my channel i always encourage our mature students to actually process their assessment if they have already the bachelor's degree or the license in the philippines or somewhere else so process your license here your assessment professional assessment in canada it will help you a lot with your permanent residency i actually made a video about that last week about processing your designation here in canada you can watch that after this video so ngayon pag-usapan naman natin it professional so again you have different options depending on the concentration you have data analytics cyber security network administration you have software development it really depends on what concentration you wanted to pursue here in Canada but if you're thinking to go to Alberta just avoid taking the non-credit professional certificate because that will not be eligible for the Alberta opportunity stream but you can take the master's degree or the postgrad certificate level as long as the program is diploma or postgrad certificate level or the post baccalaureate level then that will be eligible for the Alberta opportunity stream but what I noticed with IT professionals it's becoming saturated now especially if you're going to be you know working in big cities like Toronto or Vancouver or in Calgary so it's not like healthcare professionals where you can actually find a job anywhere in Canada. So now let's talk about healthcare. So and daming mga in-demand occupation here if you're actually working in healthcare. This could be med tech, pharmacist, nurses. Alam nyo na yan, lagi kayong in-demand saan man kayo pumunta. But let's talk about pharmacists since I've I've been getting a lot of messages from our pharmacists back home in the Philippines and they're asking what program I should take in Canada. Since we've been handling pharmacists already, it really depends. Kasi tatanungin ko kayo, ano ba yung mas gusto niyong i-pursue? 
if you want to have a refresher program of the pharma tech diploma then you can take that program but if you want to go through an assessment as a like a pharmacist here in Canada then instead of taking the pharma tech diploma you can actually take a different program some pharmacists would take healthcare administration or they take the supply chain management because they have a pharma business in the Philippines so it really depends on what you wanted to pursue in Canada and what you have experienced so far like what's your professional background so far but if you can become a pharma technician here or pharma assistant you are actually in demand. You're listed in one of the in-demand occupations in Canada, especially in healthcare. So as long as you can get a job here in Canada, and if you have enough experience, like foreign experience outside Canada, which will actually boost your scores for the express entry, then that would be enough for you to get invited for the permanent residency. Still in healthcare, this would be nurses, healthcare aides. Like, these occupations will always be in demand in the next 10 years. Like not just in Canada, Australia, New Zealand, the US, you are always going to be in demand. The problem, the problem that I am experiencing right now for our nurses and like aspiring healthcare aides is that it's not easy to get in into the program, especially if you're eyeing Alberta, British Columbia, New Brunswick, like Nova Scotia, like it's hard to get in into the program because they get waitlisted right away. So if you're thinking to study here September 2024, I'm not sure if you still have the spot, but make sure that you are ready for January 2025 because that one will open on February 1st. So you want to be first in the line. So prepare your admission requirements now get into the program and I'm telling you guys once you have the job offer apply on express entry or provincial nominee program it will give you the chance to stay here in Canada so now let's talk about culinary tourism management here in Canada for this one I'm giving you the provinces Czech Alberta British Columbia Atlantic culinary program downside it's expensive really you have to study for two years and as you know the proof of funds went up right now so average the tuition fee for culinary program is about 15,000 Canadian dollars per year and it goes up to 40 for two years it's expensive guys to study culinary program for tourism management you can find one year program or a two year program but you have um cheaper option we can find twenty thousand canadian dollars for a two-year program or 25 or twenty-eight thousand for a two-year program so you have to really identify where your budget is so if you have a budget around 15 or twenty thousand canadian dollars for a two-year program consider tourism management instead of culinary right so it's up to you guys but those occupations like tourism management it's actually one of the in-demand occupation here in british columbia for culinary like it's always in demand in you know like alberta bc even in saskatchewan you can actually get invited if you work in a restaurant or as a cook right it's under the federal skilled program in canada so guys i made so many videos here already you can check those videos and i made like a special video for nurses for teachers for accountants comment below if you want me to make a video about your profession like i am thinking to make one for it professionals engineers already i made a video about it and I am, I'm also thinking like tourism as well. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like this and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys. Paalam.